Hey everybody, welcome back to Hearthstone, and as promised, we're playing Mage. It's kind of a scuffed up version of Mage, and it's Big Spell Mage! <laughs> uh, basically, the, the process of this deck is to cheat out its really, really big spells. There are four of them in the deck. Two of them are Rune of the Archmage, two of them are Drake Fire Amulet. You put the Drake Fire Amulets back into the deck again with the tradable effect, so you can get, you know, a big Belinda out there, and you can also get Big Arm with Deep Water Evoker, because that's really the only way you get, like, more survivability in this deck. Other than that, it's to disrupt the opponent. We have some early game, you know, aggression with Pelican Diver. Far Watch posts to slow them down a little bit. I've thrown in a sketchy stranger as well. Maybe we get a nice little secret that can help us along. Also, a lot of secrets have a, like, a class of the spell, in which case, if we ever cast Dawn Grass, we get another copy of it, which can be very useful. I will admit I'm missing some disruption. I would like Mutinous in the deck, ideally. Just, you know, eat something from the hand. But I don't have Mutinous, sadly. Uh, so I've thrown in Calagos instead, just for another chance in a big spell. And then I've got Great Sage Parrot just to repeat some of these spells. Other than that, it's just great stuff. We just want to get to the end game. That's the whole point of this big spell mage. But we do have some, you know, other win conditions. If we can become, I always forget the name of the hero. If we can change to our hero form, we have a scaling button. And for some opponents, that's too much. Now, I will admit, there are some face-offs which are very hard for me to win. One of them in Quest Hunter, it's really hard. We need to get an early box, cheat a box out. And honestly, we need some survivability or just great damage out of it. But it's not. It's... Shaman, which is probably controlled to some degree. I'm considering keeping the Starfish just because if it's Murloc Shaman, then they're going to do a lot of buffing, but it's not that much. I'll, I'll keep Sanctum instead. Okay, this is not a great hand, I will be completely honest with you. Other than the nice thing about Mutinous versus Caligos, Mutinous comes online way sooner. It's, it's a Murloc Shaman. Okay. Well, we can slow him down. That's going to be nice as well. Deep Water Evoker to get a bunch of armor. As long as we can live into the end game, we beat Shaman. And immediately we fought a trade. I'm very happy with that. I'm going to save my freeze on my hero power rather than just kill this. Because it's not like the chum bucket for Murloc Warlock. I don't have to worry about that. I don't know if there's any card in the Murloc Shaman package which benefits multiple Murlocs being on the board. Other than, you know, the usual ones where it buffs their attack and so on and so forth. That's fine. This is all completely okay. Now we can do a little trade. Ah, I was hoping to hit this, obviously. Let's gain a bit of armor while I wait. 10 armor. Never going to say no to that. I'll freeze you. Slow down, Shaman. I, I want to play slower. Let's play for value. Be cool. Be cool like all the other cool kids. Oh, he's Amalgam and Amalgam, so he's going to get offered three random classes, right? Or maybe he did hit the Murloc, I don't know. It looked like he hit Amalgam. Okay. I think he's fishing for stuff that isn't Murlocs. Which is pretty bold. Okay. Ravager me. Oh, hang on a minute. I could also ping trade Renathal. That's pretty good too. And again, just keep slowing them down. Keep getting skelly bobs, which are good for trading. 
We can always ravage it next turn. Bold strategy, Cotton. We'll see how this pays off. Okay, that's tempo. Thankfully, you're trading into me. Unfortunately for me, it didn't work out great. Ooh. One, two, three. I don't kill you, though. But I could trade into you first and then put you onto two and spam you will clear. I like it. And I can put this back in the deck then. I'm going into turn seven. There's not a Murloc on the board. You love to see it. They have to refill. I'm feeling quietly confident right now. Uh, I think we will get rid of that, if you don't mind. Then I'll play my own Ravage, if you don't mind. And Despair, question mark. Now, the one thing that is despairing for me is I haven't drawn into my... Uh, my big spells, I suppose. Well, other than the one I threw back into my deck. I also just knocked the can on the floor and started kicking it around, which isn't a great way to start the video. Let me move that back onto the side. By the way, I did... I had a recording of this with another episode, which I'm not going to include anymore because my internet died halfway through the game. And I was going 0-1 at the time. So, certainly speaking, I've cheated out of that. But then in testing, I won the game, so... Off camera, we kind of won and won with this at the moment. Which I'll treat as zero and zero for the sake of this game. Have you despaired? Is it over? Well, that's not going to help your cause. How do I do this more efficiently? I don't think I can, sadly. I think we just trade them out. Do I put these back at the bottom of my deck? I would lose out my parrots. But there's nothing else I really need right now. Put them back. Where are my boxes? Either way, my win condition has somewhat changed now, potentially. You're going to regret that. So you, you did go for mystery packages. Interesting, of your amalgams. Uh, let me... Do that. That. You know what? Let's have a look what's in their hand. Actually... Fuck it, I don't need to. Give me, give me my big stuff. Ten. Nine. Okay, I'm going to send this back again. This should be over. They might have another silence left. But even if they do... We're good. We can just trade them out. We can give him a nice little box. All right, you've left a four up, which isn't great news for you either. So let's ping the four. And I'll give you a box. Unnecessary, but thank you. Okay, good. Stop, stop. Please. Oh my god. Possibly the worst box in the history of boxes. Well. Well. Let's do that. It should still be lethal next turn. They can't really trade out my board. Even if this dies...
then what next for you? My hero power does six. You die in two turns. Uh, you're actually just dead now. Now that I think about it. I can take a Perfect. What a great start for this deck. Other than the box being atrocious. Truly atrocious. And I beat DC like 18 times in the game. Which is fantastic. And look, I need two more wins. And I get a nice little reward for my troubles. This could be bad. If this is Quest Hunter, I think we we have almost zero chance of winning, unfortunately. It's actually a difficult mulligan because if it's not Quest Hunter, I do want Pelican Diver. I think I'm going to send it back. I've seen a lot of Quest Hunters recently. Sanctum lets me deal with both. All right, hello Pelican Diver again. It's actually not a bad hand. I was hoping for a watch post. Oh, it's not. Okay. My blood boils from okay, this is good. We can deal with this deck better. I'm not saying we're infallible to this one either. We can definitely get beat by this deck. The more like Wild Seed based one. But mainly because they won't be running... Well, I doubt they're running Ice Trap. So we should be okay. I've also got the coin if they are. We, we should try and save this coin as long as I can. Uh, I say we should save the coin. Things have just changed suddenly. Give me a free spell, please. Drake fire is interesting. Do I need it though? I know I'm big spell mage, so why wouldn't I? Uh, the polymorph could be nice, but I don't really want to give them polymorph. I don't want to give them visage either. I guess it's Drake Fire just because I don't want to give them the other two. See, they're like, I don't want this. The problem with Drake Fire though was that they would have just sent it back into their deck again, so. It was kind of a rough series of events there. And this isn't a great spell for me, as I said, to check for traps. But I'm pretty certain they're not running any. I'm pretty certain this deck runs none. Uh, wrong ingredient. And if you're going to ask for, like, you know... After watch post, what would you ask for? It's definitely this Sanctum. Two of them is fantastic. Just slow the hunter down. I feel like I got all my free synergies. This is lovely. Okay. 33% chance of getting the good one. They've got it already. They must have two quick shots in hand for them just to blow a quick shot like that as well. Let's Stranger and see what we get. Okay. Explosive is interesting. It would clear a minion off the board. I don't hate this. Oh, actually, I do hate this because it's fired. Well, it doesn't really matter. Because if I play Magister now, I might not get a, a Drake Fire Amulet, but it's probably unlikely I'm going to play a Drake Fire Amulet anyway before becoming that hero. All right, that's another, you know, another stag. Terrific news. Goodbye. Hmm. I feel like I have to keep my amulet right now just because of Sorcerer's next turn. 
So a little bit of a scuff turn again. What I think I'm gonna do is this. Just to stop you hitting me with the weapon for a turn. Because you're gonna get another stag in two turns anyway. So if you can break the weapon and overlap them, I don't get hit for quite as much damage. And really that's all this is. I'm just trying to slow the game down. So they have a quick fire, I think. This is kind of scary. Okay, one's Doggy Biscuit. I think this is a spell still. I'm willing to bet on it as well. That's alarming. Because they're going to cast that twice. So I think I trade my minions into you. The problem is, if I freeze, I'm generating more minions, but if I don't freeze, I'm getting hit. Do I do nothing here? Is that the right play? Alternatively, I put some skeletons on the board, which might deal with the 5-2, the 2-2, two, two, and the 1-2. But I'd be taking a shit ton of damage. Runs out on me. I think I'm dead, irrespective of what I do. Oh, we can't cast the next turn. It's at 10 now. What the fuck am I doing? Brain, please. What a stupid play. All right. Okay, that's fantastic news for me. I made a misplay and they've undone it for me. Thank you very much. Freeze. 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 <laughs> Send you back to the deck. And I do not want you to cast any spells next turn, if you don't mind. Good. We're back in it. Until 10. I.e. two turns. Actually, we might be fine now, because if I can put up two 12 health dragons, we won't take that much damage, as long as I can clear the board beforehand. Because surely they hit me in the face here and then push the button. The only thing I can think of them doing is trading out a snow flurry. Yeah. The is mine. Is mine. So we need to protect this boy. <laughs> He's the most precious boy right now. So I think I ping you. I trade you. Please not face. Fuck you, game. Not impressed. Cock. A bit unlucky there. Still, they don't... I don't know if they've got anything to do with Okani. Predictable. 
Okay, now they're ready to do their triple shot. What I wouldn't give for 10 armor suddenly. Alright, see you later. That's not a lot of health. Not as much as I was hoping for. And Nixie would be bad, but it's a lot of health, so I'm going to take it. No I think we're dead. Because, yeah, whichever one misses the eights is going to kill me. Okay, they had aim shot anyway. <sighs> Fucking Hunters. To be fair, I misplayed a turn there. We shouldn't have been that low. Yeah, I think we were generally okay there. Misplayed a turn. Took like 12 damage more than I should have done. But I think even had I not taken the 12 damage, I would have still... Been in misery on that turn unless we got unbelievably lucky. Jaina versus Jaina. Okay, mage we mage. Don't pull the wool over my eyes. I've got a good feeling. So do I want to hold rune? I probably don't, right? Theatar will hold though. Mage is typically a deck you want to disrupt. The other interesting one is how to use Pelican Dive because it's just going to get pinged by the hero power. Ideally, I would like to take out, take out Watchtower with it, but... They'll obviously just play around it because I'm going seconds. I think they're the same as me. There's so many variants of Mage, though. Like, it could be a Skelly Bob Mage for all I know. All right, it's just it's just pure ping mage if it's running wildfire. Uh, I'm honestly just gonna blow this because I think it's gonna do nothing. This battle. Just stop them playing a minion next. Sir. That's literally all your job was. Don't really want to drake fire. Do I want to shuff my deck? No, I would like to use Theatar first. But the rest I'm not too bothered with. Yeah, I'm not too fussy he's pinged this, because it's slowing him down as well. The question now is, do I coin Theatar? I don't need to right now, but I'm worried about him Theataring my Theatar, so I'm going to go now. Evoker is okay. Ooh, you can have a mailbox dancer. Enjoy. That's my four play now. So from what I could see in that hand, they haven't got any of their big cards. I.e. they haven't got Magister yet. The problem with waiting any longer, as I said, is if we get Theatar or Theatar, then we're in trouble. And on turn seven, they're just going to play their hero as soon as they draw it. So I basically have a three-turn window to, you know, play Theatar. So I don't regret making that decision. Also, Deep Water's pretty good. Not the worst pull. Give me a more health. I can't take him. Wait, not all of them. Mm, yeah. And I'll just ping you. So Gorlock right now is drawing Gorlock plus Murloc Holmes. Which isn't great. <laughs> eh, could be worse. Uh, if we're going to trade, do the trade now. I will do a little trade. Homes could be nice. Homes plus Theatre is a pretty nice combo, but it's been a few turns since then. I can't 
take him. I was gonna say, we knew an apprentice was there, but now he's played both. Either way, we're slowing the game down. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with everything that's going on right now. Three, six, eight. I wouldn't get every card right now. Okay, we'll sanctum then. Do a little freeze. See what's behind this box. Yes, please. Don't hit my two two. I was hoping you'd hit the one three, but sure. You went for the middle door. <laughs> I forgot I was going to give them one too. You wish to match wits with okay, the dawn grass on seven. What can you do? Yeah. We need to not have twos on the board. No, we need to not have threes on the board. Sorry, because we need to not have fours on the board. You wildfire twice. And unfortunately, Murloc is a four. You're a three, so you're pretty safe. God damn it, it's really fucked me up, this. What to do? What to do? This looks kind of weird, I know. I, I was kind of setting up potentially a spammy if they trade this way instead. Okay, they're just going to kill it. That's fine. Okay, it's time for the box to save us. What's in the box? An ignite. And a ruined orb. And a death born. Okay, that's actually really helpful. And it's going to reduce the... Never mind. Ooh, that doesn't work. Okay, not a great box. Not the worst box, but not a great box. Shit, it's gonna fill my hands, isn't it? No, I've got on eight. I'm fine. We're fine. Be me, tusks. Won't stop shattering. Interesting order. Uh, do I box again? I'm not sure about that. Maybe Caligos. I just need to play shit. All right. Pretend that it's counter spell. They might not know. Uh, I guess a sticky. Just keep playing shit. Doesn't matter anymore. The freeze won't matter that much either. Great. They've used their bit blizzard. Give me a speed ray. Didn't really play around the counter spell. Actually, the speed ray is kind of bad. We're going to need to ping our own speed ray to stop arcane burst. Okay. Let's ping it. I think that's all we do this third. Just be as annoying as possible. That's Blizzard again. That's fantastic. 
Although I say that, this is like a, the, I guess it's a stall version of the casting blizzards. Hmm. I think this is good enough for another rune now. Try and clear a minion off the board. God damn you. That's fine. That's less fine. Well, certainly a series of events occurred there. Let's ping that and get rid of it. And I think that's turn. Two pretty bad boxes so far. I mean, okay, they haven't screwed me over. Ah, oh, he has got Rune in the deck. Why could I not get Drake Fire? Riddle me this. Oh my god, that box is disgusting compared to mine. Well, we have an answer to this. It's called the box. Go box. Nope. A little bit too low. Doesn't help that much. Okay, please stop. Oh, fuck you. Hey, a wildfire. Okay, that didn't work very well. Do I know what their secret is? I mean, it's not explosive runes. I guess we test for Counterspell in a little bit. So I've had three boxes right now and all of mine have been worse than their one box. Okay, it's another box. It's just... Despair. Yes! Oh, we obviously going to target mine, I forgot. Fuck me, it's at six now. Okay. It was always this ally, fair enough. Uh that has to die. Why do we get the feeling that it's a counter spell? Not what I wanted. On the positive side, I can play Renafal now and not be too upset. In fact, Counterspell, right? Not Counterspell. So it's the Visage and what's your other one? Is it another Oasis ally? Honestly, my hand is shit. Go, go back to the bottom of the deck. Although, <laughs> that being at one, kind of changes things. Fuck me! Can I get a good dragon for a change? Just for once in my life. Oh my god! Is it seven? I didn't realize. I thought we were still at six. So they could ping my sorceress to take it to nine. I think we're gonna lose because of the hero. They have vengeful ice barrier, right? Okay, I think it's time to swap the deck around. Brand Parrot would give me a bunch of dragons. We're playing this, though. Where are we up to?
Thanks. It's three, right? Now we're at five. They've just played a five for me. Please live through this turn. What a legend. Uh, do I want a Skelly Bob? I think I do right now. So now I'm at seven. I have board space for four, but I need board space for six if I'm going to do that combo. I could just not do the combo. And brand for armor instead. That's not a bad play. Yeah, I like it. Actually, is there enough spells in my deck? There is. There's an Ignite, I forgot. Send you back. Job done. So I think Belinda is just going to be a 10-5, unfortunately. I wish I had more Dresh. I forgot to mention this was another card I'd have had in my deck. Sadly, I do not have it. What if I just shoot you down? How does that sound? Because it's only two more damage to hero power right now. And I'm 11 health better off. Uh, uh, hello? The far watch post? Does that not work? Oh, maybe it doesn't count as draw. I thought it worked. Oh. I think every turn I have to weave pushing the button now into my play. Fuck me, my dragons. They leave a lot to be desired. Okay, they have to deal with my board now, though. I have lethal on board. Whereas they don't. I need to actually check. I think I have lethal. Oh, they have ice spire though. Okay. It's Ice Barrier and Vengeful Visage, the same as me. So I don't want to give them eight, because I've only got ten on board. Which unfortunately isn't enough. So what I think I do instead is this. I silence their board, so I don't take the two damage anymore. Then I freeze something, and I make some trades. So now they only have four damage plus nine, so 13. And I just need to push the button one more time. We also have an out with Caligos potentially, if we're going to lose anyway. We could try and find 10 damage with Cali. This might not be lethal, I think. Oh boy. 
I feel like they threw there considerably. But I'll take the 2 1. Apologies you can hear a, a car horn going on outside. I, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if someone taps his hair or something or... Or what? A guilted lover? Who knows? So, Paladins are one of the decks that can't really deal with watch posts very well. So I might coin watch post. I don't dislike the Sanctum either. In fact, I don't dislike the Apprentice. I think I'll send Ravager back. But even Ravager isn't awful here. You know what? I'm going to keep everything. Because at two, we can push the bus. And so this is like two, sorry, one, two, three, four, five. Ah, I see you it really depends what Paladin we're going up against. This might be pure if you're running them. It's pure or dude. Let's see what they do with this. Because they can city tax it to get rid of it if they're really desperate. Reporting for duty. Because I can just ping the silver. Okay, you put two up. You know what? That's smart. All right, I'm gonna keep tempo. At the very least, we disrupted them a little bit because I, I imagine they didn't want to play their two beanies immediately. <laughs> no, they'll just trade it immediately. I'll tell you what again, watch posts could be annoying. They might steal my watch post. It's probably brand they would go for if it's an option. I mean, disappointment is what they're going to get. All right, they took brand. Fair enough. I'm kind of surprised they didn't take the watch post. I guess they're always going to trade it. Hit theater, I'm begging you, skeleton. I hate you. Okay. I won't send you to the wolves this time. What will wet your whistle? I'm going to be trading a four one to a two four. Oh, another pelican diver. Uh, I think I'm not going to Ravage here. I think I'm going to freeze you and put a, put a watch post because I think it's more annoying. Because they don't want to quality this type of thing, do they? I can keep it on there for a decent amount of time. Oh, okay. So it's pure Paladin. Fair enough. All right, let me have a look at what's in your hand, I think, my friend. Yeah, I'll take Cariel, if you don't mind. And you can have... Do you want a Gorlock Ravager? Wait, that will ruin pure Paladin. Oh, he's not in the deck, though, is it? Hmm. Still, that's a fantastic get for me. It's also going to discount my light ray when I play it. Wait, it's not pure Paladin. Yeah, he has. 
What? He has them in his deck. Delightful insanity. No. I thought we were having fun. Speaking of which, by the way, where the fuck are all my cards? Where are my drawers? Well, they know I've got Carriol and Light Ray in my hand, so I'd be surprised if they get the, the one in my hand wrong. In fact, this will give them Carriol back. If they get it all right. How can you not know? Oh, he must have been offered my other two. Not Carriol or Light Ray. That's fantastic news then. Even if he gets them right, I'm okay. Okay. Uh, you are a true champion. Well done. I'm pretty certain they didn't get Carriol there. May the light but I don't know. Peace. I can't take them. No, they got Apprentice from my hand. I guess it could have been from my deck too. What? <laughs> I didn't know that's how that worked. Well, so you can play that game, mister. I can't take him. Wait, not all of them. Bump, bump. Uh, you can trade. Yeah, you can trade in here. That's not where I wanted you to go. And... I'll run you there. And I'll put you there. So you can't just free trade. And next turn we carry all, And that should be it. Right? Because I think you're a hand buff tech, so... You won't be able to get carry all back. Both the attacks have gone. You've played your Murloc. This is a good turn for silence. Oh, hang on a minute. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I don't think we carry all this turn. It's a really good spammy turn. It will clear my board, though. Do I care? I wonder. We can push the damage. I guess carry would have been two to all as well. Would have cleared half the board. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe that was right. Alright, that's my brand. Fine, they're gonna get a light ray and a, a Sir Finley Sea Guide. So you're going to hit me pretty hard for a while. Enjoy. By the way, anytime one of the big spells wants to show up, I'd be pretty grateful. Silence would be very good here. I do have another starfish in this deck. Sure. Okay. 
I think they had Fear Tower in their hand. They've just played this. I think it's Holy Mackie. I think they would have played the other one. And we know it's not Stuart. They do have probably got the Leviathan. They've probably got Mr. D as well. I think it's Leviathan. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got them. We are going to take some damage here, but oh, we can do some disruption now. And Holy Mackey roll with this hero power is pretty insane. Who did we hit, by the way? Oh, Sketchy Stranger. This is not what we stood for. Silence would be phenomenal because I'm pretty certain Mr. D is in that deck. In fact, it has to be for it to be offered. Oh, wait. Mr. D must be in that hand, then. Right? Hmm. To Leviathan or to not Leviathan? It would force them to deal with my Leviathan. Flight guide my patience. Goodbye, Sketchy. You're the draw, right? And you're the the not draw? Yeah. <laughs> Not the hand I was hoping for. Although, hang on a minute, maybe it is. Because we just learned that works. The question is, do I want to deal with Stuart? Because that's going to be kind of annoying. Push the button first. I think I will clear Stuart. They have to clear this, right? It's too much draw for them. That doesn't kill me. So do I Mackie just every single time now? 20 health off Mackie? Hmm. Or do I see what's behind the boxes? I think we do an intermediate. If this isn't good, Ice Barry is pretty good here. It does mean I don't push the button. That's irrelevant as well, but whatever. Where is my box? I just need my box. Oh, my drawer is of boxes. Where are you? There's another eight armor, thank you. Holy shit, the board is getting so big now my box might not even clear this. So they have 12, 13, 14, 15, 18. You're really not what I wanted there. What can Sketch give me that would even save me? I think I need something from their hand. 
That'll do it. So would a quality to some degree, but because I don't hit people with my hero power anymore, it's kind of obnoxious. You can have one of these. And... I clear you off the board. I think I send you back to the deck. Six, twelve, thirteen, sixteen, eighteen. I think this saves me. But what I'm doing with my other mana, good point. Good start for me. Uh, really, it's not too heavy. Mm, that's right. Feel groove. Fine. I don't think Starfish saves me now. I think the only card in my deck that can possibly save me is Box. Not that box! Okay, well, let's do an amusing meme play then, because we're dead. I can take them. Wait, not all of them. That is incredible. It's a miracle. <laughs> Interaction. Where you followed. Take one of these and call me in the morning. And have a mailbox dancer. And that's lethal. You can really hold your own. God damn. I think that was actually pretty unlucky. I didn't draw any of my draw engines for the big stuff. I didn't draw Belinda. I didn't draw my hero. My deck was bottom loaded there. I did steal there, you know, Cariel. Yeah, it happens. Okay, I've seen a few new warriors knocking around. I'm not entirely certain I'm convinced yet that it's great. I'll keep a Sanctum though, just in case it is this self-harm warrior. And I'm going to keep Dawngrass because I think it's honestly just a win condition for this deck. Your win chance of go... Like, when you play this card, your win chance goes up drastically. Come on, warrior. Take some bubbles across your bow. I must choose. I'm here to help. We okay? We having a, a, an IRL issue, Leviathan? 
or Levi Ofa, or Levi's. You know, maybe he likes jeans. Okay, he's he is here. Where you followed? Snake kidnap reckoning. Reckoning is okay. Kidnap is pretty slow for them as well. What am I going to play next turn? Probably Sanctum. So four would then be up for the debate. It might be Starfish though. So I'll take Reckoning. They can pop the sap fairly easily as well with that deck. Okay, this is the self damage deck. And I might take this turn differently now. Let's clear you off the board and I'll play a Reckoning. And then honestly, I might Fear Tower. I don't know when the best time to Fear Tower against Warrior is. I don't play them that often. That would have been a great thing to steal, though. Uh, do I need to play this right now? I don't. I can just play Sanctum. And I'll put this back in the deck. Yeah, I'd rather give them Reckless, I think. Let's be frank, in like three turns, we might just win the game. Because my button will just do too much. Okay, what are we doing, Warrior? You're sorting a lot of shit. I'm tempted to Ravager here. I'm still not that frightened of their board. I guess I'll slow you down a little bit. The other nice thing, by the way, for the Sanctum is the skeletons you can get out of it is a great start for Dawn Grasp. It's a very good combo one, though. Okay, so you were trying to get an imbued axe up, but I'm not killing anything for you, so you're just stuck. I see the problem now. Okay. I get you. Goodbye, by the way. Uh, we can do two damage pretty easily. Hello, Belinda. I was waiting for you last game. And I think I will just kill this. Get it off the board. And I think that is a big problem from this deck gone now. So I think we Magister and then the world is our oyster. We can just play it from there. Okay. Should I silence this to deny draw? There is a big part of me that's just like, silence this thing. Kill it. Because clearly they're having issues with draw, and I think this is their entire draw engine. And I can run Theotar into it afterwards. Uh, yeah, we probably want Rukara. And you can have Renathal. That seems like a fair trade in my books. And we should possibly play Rukara first before Dawn Grasp. I literally think I'm going to Rikara hit them in the face, and that's going to be it. I'll Dawn Grasp the turn afterwards. I only want to play it because they might be running Fear Tower as well. And I don't want to give them the opportunity to steal it. Do 
But this is a big part of their survivability, just completely gone now. The time has come to our master. All right, it's go time. I'm now Rakara Mage. Uh, get bonked, by the way. I love the noise that hammer makes. Brunk. To chunk. Next turn, we Magister. I push the skeleton on someone. I'll even freeze my own minion if I can. And that's game for Warrior, because they will never get back from my hero power being... Even four is too much for them. But I have other fours in my hand, so we could get it to six. And then six is really... I think when you get this power to six, or the, you know this power to six, you're in a world of hurt. You can't really deal with that very easily. So let's swing to the face one more time. And despair. I forgot I was going to get a reckoning as well. Thought it was a four. Might need to practice that one. Okay, we set up a two. That's fine. I got a little ahead of myself there. Hey, look, they've given me some fours. Well. What a dope. Let's Let me Belinda. Do you take me for an ordinary mage? Into Evoker. No ways can save the ship. Then I'll free someone. I'll freeze you. And I think I leave my 2 2 here. And we'll just. We'll play a box next turn. They have a full board, so they can't really do much right now. Olga, maybe? Yep. Nice. You've cleared my board. Well done. Okay. Woods absolutely love my silency boy. Okay, we will just... Play a box. Should I hear a power first? There's nothing at two. Okay. What's in the box? Let me remind you who you're dealing with. Well, that was a box. All right, let's honorably kill you. Let me... Oh, actually, do I want to do that? You're at one now. Fuck me. Let me kill you, then. I think... No, do I even throw you back in the deck? Yeah, I throw you back in the deck. Not yet, though. We do that first. Let me just remove some more damage off the board. And now I'll throw you back in the deck. Job done. They know what it is, obviously. It's shooting star. It's actually pretty useful for them. But they didn't pick it. I guess because they decided it wasn't useful for them. This... I was going to say, this still should be game, though. 
There's no way Wario recovers from that. Hey, I won five games of Hearthstone. Wonderful news. Okay. Back into it, then. What did I get? Was it three and two? Three and two. An hour and ten minutes I played five games. So be prepared for a marathon game if you play this deck. So we will go two more. I mentioned in the bit of recording that never was because I said my internet died. That I was hoping to go... I've got a good feeling about this. I was hoping to go like five and two of this deck. This is one of those scenarios where I'm actually going to get rid of Dawngrass. Because I think Dawngrass doesn't matter against Imp Warlock. Assuming it's Imp Warlock. This hand is actually anus as well. I need my early game stuff that disrupts them. And this isn't it really. Please be the curse variant. I'm here to help. Okay, we don't know still. That's useful. I, I basically need the to top deck. We're playing arena at the moment. Sorry, we don't have any ink. If I coin Sanctum, what do I do after that? Why did I not put this back in my deck? That's a fucking phenomenal question. Okay. I'm beginning to see some light now at the end of the tunnel. I have a counter to you than playing Fiendish Circle. Do I free something now? I think I do. I'm, I'm really scared of this deck. It does mean things. But they haven't gone off to a fantastic start themselves, so I'm going to be completely honest with you. Like, it's turn four. They haven't got an 8-7 on the board yet, which is pretty good news for me. I think this is worth apprenticing. They're setting up clearly for a library of some sort. I can take them. Wait, all of them. Okay, two imps on the board now. I don't have anything for Fiendish Circle though. Next time we can coin Belinda though. I tell you what, that was a little bit risky from them. Because I, I can trade this in and I've got a a four in five chance of hitting something I would like to hit. I'm probably gonna do that. Do you take me for an okay, we want a box here. That's fine. Everything else is gravy. That's okay. Don't hit the face. Oh no, it's actually a three and five. Don't hit the face of the other spirit. Thank you. I'll freeze you now. And we've successfully stalled the imp deck. Admittedly, they did most of the stalling themselves. It's turn six. They haven't played a board yet. And now we're going to live and die by the quality of my boxes because they're going to have loads of refills now. That's two impending catastrophes that have gone off. Not great for right now, but I won't say no. Not where I wanted it. Please stop. Please stop. Okay, that was kind of shit. <laughs> Uncouth, scum? Uncouth scum. I think we'll play a pelican diver. Job done. It's still not bad. They can't like rush me down because of solid alibi. So you're gonna have to get a huge board. Who cares? 
you're so lucky that I hit you in the face. I guess it was 50-50 actually, but you're so lucky. Pop. Okay, it's time for our second box. Although actually I've got leaf on board. <laughs> Maybe it's not. Maybe the other box was unnecessary. Anyway, I'm still thankful for a quicker game. And look at this, we're climbing. Always a great sign of a deck when, you know, it's climbing. All right, let's get, get one more win. I predicted five and two. So let's not go four and three. I definitely think there are improvements to make to this deck. As I said, if you have Mutinous, put Mutinous in this deck. It would be so much better than Kalagos. I also don't know if Sketchy Stranger is the, the greatest idea for this deck. It's not awful, but there's probably better things out there. Even the, what's she called? The Pandora one? The, the Inquisitive Panda or something? She probably wouldn't be terrible for this deck. Scorpid might even be okay. Okay, again, my hand isn't awful. I wouldn't say it's fantastic. I would love some ability to freeze. Okay, I'll ping one of your imps. This is alarming. They're going to play another one, I think. Okay, that doesn't bother me that much. <laughs> is this more annoying? No, it isn't. They would just trade you in and keep you as a 3-1. Okay, two mana draw two. That's not completely busted. It's pretty strong. And I, again, I think I just trade an imp off. Fiendish circle. I dare you. I double dare you, Altenar. Aww. Okay, time to gain some armor. Or a pelican. Does a wild pelican appear? Renathor plus pelican? That's not terrible. It's pretty annoying for them. And if they do fiendish circle now... Or the Vile Library Wicked Shipment or something like that. We can deal with the 1-1s. One -ones. All right, they're just running everything into my face. Fair enough. His reign ends now. I think I'd take you out of the equation. And then one of you. And let's see what behind the, the door is. Uh... I mean, if we can live that long, Snap Freeze is probably the most sensible play. No ways can sink this I'm getting 10 armor. This could be interesting for them. They might just instinctively grab a rune because it's in my deck. Snap Freeze doesn't really help them either. See? And because you're a frost spell, if I do cast my hero, I might be able to get a free freeze off you. All around, pretty good get. Okay, here comes the library. Ooh, it's an early library. Okay, I think I will Reckless here. It's not the dream scenario for me, but it's pretty good. I can't take them. Wait, not all of them. Does it hit this new imp? No, because he wasn't on the board at the time. Steady the sails. 
Because I know there's in the library again coming up, I'm happy enough to get rid of the damage. And you can keep an imp. I'm expecting mischievous imps to arise now. Oh, Rafal. Okay, that's a board. This is a... No, it's not relevant, but it's pretty irrelevant to me. I think Dancer isn't a bad shout, actually, for the coin for next turn. I think I'm going to die before then, still. Which card is in your opponent's starting hand? It was this. So they have Gigafin in the deck. But it's in your opponent's hand. Do you have Fireblade in your deck? What? Oh, we're fucked. I think I'm dead. I'm pretty certain I'm dead on board. Three, six, 11, 15, plus 12. No, we're not dead on board. We're gonna need a miracle though from the fucking rune. The top shelf is X. Like, why would you put that card in your deck? Because it must be in the deck for you to give me an option of it. By the way, this is a fucking terrible play to buff this guy up in gang bosks. If your opponent runs spammy, it's a guaranteed board clear. So, like, if I draw spammy next turn, I'm playing it because I'm clearing everything. Okay, we didn't. So, it's time for the box. Actually, it might be time for Caligo to send the box. No, I coined. It has to be the box. That's a good start. Except, <laughs> I do kind of need these to be cleared off as well. Please kill the sheep. Spammy was the next card. Are you kidding me? If you were the other way around, I would have cleared with five cost. And it wouldn't be in this weird situation. Okay. Surprised they haven't got some form of lethal here. This has really stalled him. I guess because if I trade the sheep, whatever he puts onto the board dies. Interesting play. Why would you leave me on seven? Why would you play this? What? Uh, we need better box stuff. Or a good Caligos. And look for armor. Nope. Yes. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Okay, what a fantastic fucking box. Okay, so you hit me in the face like three times then. Tremendous. Blizzard will interrupt my... my box chain, but... if I need it, then I need it.
So they have one vile library, they have one bartender. Yes, that's the one. I'm fine if they blizzard my board just as an FYI. I don't really care. Okay, that's another turn for me. And I don't know if you can clear this. It appears that you have no direct damage. Again, really interesting play to play Fiend Circle into my Blizzard. So I think we Caligo's Blizzard here. Uh, yeah. I would like you to gain no advantage from that. Just in case they were... Uh, I guess Silence wouldn't have even helped them. I don't know. Just get it off the board. I guess it was still direct damage if they had Silence. Uh, this is not great. Some might say this is subpar. Do I spammy this? I do, right? To get my shit back. Oh, I've played a spell already. Honestly, I'm, I'm too scared of this. I think if my board can live, we're in a great place. In fact, hang on a minute. How much damage have I got on board? Six, nine, ten. Eleven. Okay, well, we'll buy a light ring. Uh, sorry, they're via library, so we're probably silencing. This is the combo wombo. We have to play this first. So whatever I pick gets silenced, so just go for stats. And if we hit Blizzard, we win. You wish to match wits with me. Ah. Actually, that's okay. Fuck you. <laughs> okay. So we need to trade the board off then. Four. Three. One. One. They have three damage on board. They might have a bartender, which is still only seven. And I can put up a taunt after this. Interesting you attack that. Why? Despair question mark? What have you got an AoE? Oh, you've got Mr. D, haven't you? Okay. Fair enough. You're a scumbag. Seven, eleven. Magic bar. 
I could ping the hero power as well to save a minion. Then I think I want to kill Bran. And I just play Torn. And you're at four. So they're looking at opening a portal for imps, but can I outlive that? They did have silence. Is that lethal? I think it is, isn't it? It's exactly lethal. Oh. Never mind, they've been done. Uh, enjoy. Yeah, they're pretty good dragons, right? No, I'm not taking your pity. We went four and three. Anyway, that'll do it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, why not leave a like and subscribe? Everything helps you out. I think this deck is fantastic. I think if you've got Mutinous in it, it will make it way better. There's probably some other early game stuff. I don't think the, the sketchy Stranger really worked, but... Play around with it, it's pretty fun. Big spell mage. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.